Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pass values from one form to another in your Visual Basic Windows form application. So I have this uh, sample blank project made and uh, first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a second form. So I will right click my project and I will go to add new item and in the new item I'm going to add a Windows form and this form name I will leave as default which is form 2 and I will click add so that my second form is added. Now to my first form I will click my first form and in this form what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a text box and a button So what I want is I want to send whatever I write in this text box and when I click the button I want to pass the values from form 1 to form 2 whatever I write in this text box. So let me change the font size also. I will select my control and I will change the font size first. Bold and 18. Okay. And to the text box, I am going to change the text as pass. Okay, now just go to your form 2 and in here just add a label. So I'm going to add a label here and this label also I'm going to change the text as first of all let me change the font size and I will change the text of this as get string okay now whatever I send from the form number one I want to set this text to this label so what I'm going to do is I will right click my form 2 and I will say view code and in this view code of form 2 I will declare a public variable so just uh, go to form 2 and in here in this public class form 2 just write public prototype and whatever the name of the variable you want to give so for example string pass this is the name of my string which I want to pass as string so this is a public variable in form 2 I have declared and just remember this uh, string variable name now I'm going to go to form number 1 and now I am going to just double click this pass string button here and in here what I am going to do is I am going to declare a object of form 2 so I will write dim obj as new form 2 so this form 2 is the name of my form class form 2 class right and then I will write object dot the string global string which I have declared here so just copy the name of this uh, string which we have declared here so this global string just copy the name from here and in this button click event just write obj dot string pass 
is equal to and whatever we write in our text box so from one text box name is text box 1 so I will copy the name of the text box 1 and I will write here dot text so in the form 1 what I have declared of instance of form 2 or the object of form 2 and then I have assigned the string variable or I have accessed the string variable which I have declared in the form 2 as a public variable is equal to whatever I write in the text box 1 right now I just need to show my form 2 so I will write obj dot show and if I want I can hide this form by writing me dot hide this is not a necessary step but if you want you can hide this form and just show the other form right and in the second form code what I need to do is just go to the form 2 and just select your form as a whole so at, click anywhere in the form and just double click it and in this form load event what I'm going to do is I'll copy the name of my label which is label 1 okay and in this form load event I will say label 1 dot text is equal to this string pass which is my global variable now when I run the program and whatever I write here uh, for example I will write sample string and I will say pass string so I will click this button and you will see here whatever I have written in the form 1 it's passed to the form 2 so once again what we can do is we can unhide this form so we can see both the forms at the same time now once again for example I will write hello YouTube and then I will pass the string to the second form so I will press this pass string and you can see here whatever I have written in my form 1 it's passed to the form 2 so in this way you can pass not only string but you can pass integer or or other variables from pa, from from form 1 to form 2 okay so this need not only be the string variable this global variable it can be integer it can be float decimal whatever you want you can declare it so i hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now